Vortex here, welcome to my review of the simple true wireless earbuds, the premium model which is quite key because there is a standard model which is just below this uh, and there's this premium model. I don't really know much about this company but anyway into full disclaimer I got these from Amazon UK. Uh, I was not paid to do this uh, review and all the thoughts and opinions are my own and let's get into it. Now, as there's two versions of this, and there must be a small company, or they're a rebrand of something else. Some of the information is not actually correct. It seems to imply to the lower model, the standard model. So this is what you get. It says premium. Nothing really on the sides. Simple audio. SMPL is how it's spelt. Now, this is where there's a, um, a mistake. See, obviously, this barcode's a sticker, and it says premium. There's some company information, but it says 15 hours. That's actually wrong. It should be it's double that in relation. This the, And also the premium model uses a Qualcomm chipset and the model below doesn't. But I'll explain the differences later on. But a lot of this obviously is exactly the same. 10 meter range, which is about right. Full range dynamic driver, six millimeter each side. Charging case battery, 3.7 volts, 500 milliamps. There's that the ones in the buds themselves. Charging time, that's a, it's about the same for this one as well for the premium. Play time, it's up. It's around six hours. It's up to around thirty ish. Play, you know, all in. Five watt, one amp, and Bluetooth 5.0. And yeah, that's actually going to what you actually get. So you get kind of just pad in there to keep things safe. The case sat in there, physically in there, and you have to just basically pop it out. Charge cable, which is type C. Full size, which is good. Good that more and more of these are going to type C, even ones like this. That was the back it came in. And you get two lots of tips, which I didn't open because I was quite happy. You do get a pair of small and a pair of large, and it comes with mediums fitted. You get a guide, which I'll run over um, in the next clip. But again, this seems to correspond to the standard model, not the premium model. And you get the buds themselves. Really small case. A negative, I will show you now, is when you open the case, how it's weighted, it just, so it just falls over. You know, you want it to sit like that, but it just falls over, which is a shame. Um, four lights, if it's going to focus. Four lights, one, two, three, four. One is 25% full, 50, 75, then 100 for the fourth one. When it's charging, the lights go across. All this is all fairly run-of-the-mill stuff. Type C port, there's the hinge. It's kind of a, I like that it's quite small, it's quite portable. But again, I don't know anything about this brand. But my, exp my experience with this model is good, which you'll hear about later on. Take these out. So there's no real markings. And when I got mine, see these scratches here, they was already there, which is weird because it was all sealed. So there's just information about charging. It's very straightforward. See, mine's 75% full. Take these out. So you just get the two connectors, that's it, nothing else. Very basic. And that's just what they look like. I do like I do like the subtle finish. It's gonna focus. There's L upside down, as one says R. Focuses. I'd say they're very bland. And subtle but I actually do like that and yeah I'm going to go over to the guide now because it's quite important so just a guide like I said English German French Spanish Italian so obviously this is designed for Europe quickly skim through it obviously just the English part there's accessories and before I get into this the differences between this model the premium and the standard model 
is the premium uses a graphene driver it states in the information or at least graphene coated uh, 30 hours complete battery life from the case and the blood and the buds instead of 15 um, yeah and it obviously uses a Qualcomm chipset so, so you get a different driver more battery life uh, and chipset difference but it's a shame they didn't update this but pairing there connecting all this is very straightforward now touch button controls there is no indication of volume control because normally you can control the volume on your phone and then this separate but that's just the functionality of left and right that's it so stops three times as you can see I'll, I'll pause it you can pause the video if you want to see but a lot of it's quite straightforward obviously just Siri and Google Assistant AD indicators you can pause if you have to voice prompts obviously this is just the English one how you fit it properly incorrect fitment they do take a little bit of adjustment to get right but when you get it right they do fit really well and they also do isolate very well single layer bud mode which is good a way of resetting them in case you have any issues charging case straightforward problems see specifications it, didn't, it states 15 but it actually is 30 well close to 30 and the codec of the basic one is SBC and AAC as you can see with my finger but obviously this is the premium and it also does Aptex and I've tried that with my Poco F2 Pro and it does connect as Aptex which is what it should do cautions warning and that's back, that's it to German now on to a uh, mic test this is just a quick mic test of the simple true wireless uh, premium model this is just me in a quiet room, just speaking kind of normal. And yeah, just a really quick mic test of me speaking in a normal volume in a quiet room. And this is it from the simple premium true wireless. Now you just heard a mic test. I think they sound kind of average. Personally, it's not a big deal for me unless they sounded really bad. I don't really use true wireless for calls, but the same the mic quality i think the call quality was average but yeah on to what these are like so smpl simple never heard of these before like i said in the introduction and all they were rebrand i'm not quite sure but they're not a bad pair so this is a small case so for example i'm going to show you the case for the um m m5s the bit the gain on, on a bit but it's just in a quick example because these sold quite well so the case is kind of quite a difference in size that's not that portable that's quite portable that easy fit in your pocket so on the case smpl that's it type c like i said before if you open the the, the actual lid falls over which is kind of a flaw they could have done something with the back like a small step to stop it doing that but to me not really a big deal it's a case type c charging times are kind of normal for true wireless i'll open the case not sure why mine has got the marks when there's brand new but i'll just take these out l and r like i said before do have a little lip on the uh, lip on the nozzle to keep the tips on no issues with that with the build the build quality is fine it's nothing amazing but they do as you say it's trying to pair they do look really subtle and in the middle of here is actually there's a one touch button which works fine shape is kind of it's kind of large but they fit they surprisingly fit quite well and they do isolate um, very well as you can see there's no real vent holes single dynamic driver graphene driver uh, I'm not sure who bright who makes it or if it's co a coated driver which i presume it is um actual sound of these i thought was actually quite good but let's get on to uh yeah 
Comfort. Comfort rules on these is actually quite good considering they are kind of large. It's kind of the best way to describe it. They're kind of large, but they fit me perfectly well. No issues. The connection between this and my phone was perfect as well. No issues at all. No dropouts. Nothing like that. Pairing, again, super easy. Paired really fast. No issues like at all. And the connection between them works perfectly fine as well. Uh, as you say, it's using a Qualcomm chipset and it seems to be implemented pretty good. I couldn't really find any flaws. So actually onto the actual sound. I found these had quite a balanced sound signature with a emphasis towards the low end, which seems to be quite common. I wouldn't say it's V-shaped um, because everything sells sounded quite natural. Uh, female vocals sounded they're not, there wasn't any face there wasn't push forward they just sounded kind of realistic is probably the best way to describe it same for any um, any instruments like it just sounded kind of just sounded quite right it didn't sound in your face like v-shapes or w-shaped ones it just sounded kind of natural it was kind of the, probably the best way to put it yeah, and i do have an emphasized low end uh, mid bass and sub bass depends on what you're listening to it does have a nice warmth to the sound which i like i think this actually sounded as a bit of a gamble they sounded much better than i expected i was not expecting much but when i saw graphene in the description uh, and qualcomm i thought mm, these might actually be quite good in the way of sound and connectivity so yeah they do have an emphasized low end um it can be a touch booming part but it depends on what you're listening to but uh yeah so vocals sounded fine there's a bit of warmth to male ones which was fine to me but yeah female vocals is good getting into treble region instruments was um realistic was detailed everything sounded right is probably the best way to describe it uh, separation was good um sound stage was actually was that was okay i was expecting worse but it's, the stage was actually uh, okay imaging was okay um for sync issues with my phone no issues at all so i tried youtube with my phone no issues whatsoever the, the lip sync was perfect obviously i use these in aptex I don't know how SBC or AAC will work. I don't really see any issues, but you know, your phone and experience may differ to mine. But yeah, for what they are, they actually perform quite well. But as, as of this time, I don't know the price of these. So that's one thing I'm, I'm actually unsure of is the price. I'm hoping there'll be somewhere between 25 to 40 pound if they if they are much beyond that i don't know i'm not quite sure but if the price in between that they are worth that if the price beyond that that's a different thing no wireless charging some more more modern true wireless seem to have wireless charging built in this doesn't i think that because it doesn't have it helps it keep it a small actual shell which is good but yeah, I like these. They got really good overall performance. Was good. My call, mic was qu mic quality was average, but to me that's not a big deal. But to people who are using these for calls, as in Zoom calls, or you know, because I've obviously people at home or I'm working at home more, that may be more important for you. But for me, that I don't need to do that. And yeah, th that's it. Um, one thing to note, battery life, they state six hours. I didn't hit that. It depends, you might get five, five and a bit. I think six hours was a bit optimistic, but it all depends on your volume level. And also there was no volume control on the buds themselves. And yeah, onto the conclusion. So yeah, onto my conclusion of these. These are actually pretty good. But this review is only towards the premium model, not the standard one. That's one I don't have. But I presume, and for what I've read, it's actually inferior to these. These are the better one. Um, I'm also unsure of the actual 
price as of this video i hope it's within like i said before 25 to maybe 40 45 maybe if it's in that kind of price range then it's definitely worth the purchase if it's beyond that uh probably less so but if it is that price they do, they do perform quite well at this price overall whether that's a rebrand or they're actually simple or actually the company made these these are actually surprisingly good for i think for my experience they're quite good but obviously it all depends on price but yeah i think they was good they performed well in my use case showing that there is no volume control on the buttons unless there is and i did not figure it out but apart from that they do and this and the case falls over again these are little little things just having no volume control on the earbuds is kind of an inconvenience because you have to get your phone out to adjust the volume so doing it quickly on the buds and yeah that's it thanks for watching and take care